What's up everyone? This is Derek Howes, the Protein Chef. Today we're gonna put a healthy spin on one of my favorite fall recipes, apple crisp. These healthy apple crisp cake jars are packed with fiber and protein and absolutely delicious. So let's jump right into it. First, take out a bowl big enough to mix all of your ingredients around in, then add in one large egg and two large egg whites, six tablespoons or 45 grams of coconut flour, one scoop or 30 grams of a vanilla protein powder, an eighth a cup or 14 grams of almond flour, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two teaspoons or eight grams of light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a fourth a cup or 61 grams of unsweetened applesauce, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Go ahead and mix everything together for around 30 seconds. You don't need to use a hand mixer, but it will make things easier. I do post a link to mine in the description below. It's cheap and great quality. After that, chop up half an apple and lightly mix it in. Next, take out two mason jars, coat them with some nonstick cooking spray, and evenly distribute your mix into them. Your cakes will expand, so you want to make sure you use at least half pint mason jars. Top them with whatever you want, then put them in the oven on 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. After 25 to 30 minutes, take them out, let them cool, and there are your healthy apple crisp cake jars. As far as the calories go in the whole recipe, there's 625, 21 grams of fat, 58 grams of carbs, 23 grams of fiber, and 51 grams of protein. So each cake will have around 312 calories. Three tips. One, if you can't find unsweetened applesauce, you can make it yourself really easy by pausing your screen and following the directions you see right there. Two, the best and quickest way to make any recipe or portion them out is by using a digital kitchen scale if you don't have one, the one I use is great quality and only costs around $25 ship. I will post a link to it in the description below. And three, I would store these in the fridge and they'll usually last around seven to 10 days. Before I end this, I just wanna say I updated my Twitter. So if you wanna follow me, I'll post a link to it in the description below, or you can follow me at The Protein Chef. I'm gonna be way more active on it and I'll follow a ton of you guys too. All right guys, thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, smash that thumbs up button, everything in moderation, and of course, stay healthy.